Well, today I'm continuing my work on doing the front wheel deck. Yeah, it looks a bit grotty, doesn't it? Well, I've just done some rubbing down. I need to do some rust treatment yet, but I've just washed it all to wash all the dust out. So, I'm going to let it dry. I have already done this side, this seat and the gunnel here. And as you can see, I've done some anti-slip paintwork. And I'll show you later in the video how I did that. Meanwhile, we're painting a little bit of the side of the boat here at the front. So I've given this a quick rub down. I would like to do a bit more work on it, but I'm just really making it look a bit tidier at the moment. It's rather hit by that higher boat. using boat paint for this bit. I'm actually using hammerite. I believe it's a little tougher and it's definitely well a little cheaper although it's still quite expensive. It's come down to the D bar there. I'm not going to bother to tip this off, I'm just rolling it on, I'm not pressing the roller too hard, so I shouldn't get too much in the way of roller lines, and um, once I've got some paint on, and then just going over very gently with the roller, just to make sure I don't get any roller lines. It's an old boat. I don't, uh, there's absolutely no way I can make it look perfect, but I can make it look an awful lot cleaner. A group of about 10 cyclists just went by, absolutely like a bat out of hell. Crazy. They're going to kill someone on the towpath sooner or later, if they haven't already. Well, that's enough at the moment watching me paint. Uh, we'll come back to it when I'm doing something different. Well, as you can see here, I've just taped off the top bit here a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. That's why I put some paint on there now. And then I'm going to put some gravel on there. I'm using the paintbrush here rather than the roller. I want a little bit more paint on and I would probably get on with the roller. I want to be able to get the gravel into it. When I take the tape off and paint over the top of the gravel, I should do the rest of this at the same time. This doesn't have to be looking too pretty. It just needs paint on there. Of it. Right. I've got a bag of gravel here, it's very fine gravel. I got this from the pet shop. 4p for a hundred grams. Hmm. Not bad, eh? They were trying to get rid of it by the way. Apparently nobody buys it anymore. I'm doing is just literally scattering it all over. There's going to be more on here than I'm going to be using. Just be on, make sure I've got plenty. I'm just going to pat it with my hands. I'm not going to get much paint on me because obviously the gravel's covering most of it. 
I'm trying to make sure it's all, all in there. And it's into the paint a bit. And then I'm going to leave that until it's dry. As you can see here, I've also done the seat part here. Just doing there is just going to take a brush and brush it off. I'm going to brush it to the back of the seat. So I'm brushing it in and brushing it off all at once, if you know what I mean. It's all the loose stuff. I'm brushing it towards the back here because then I can, when I remove the tape, I can uh, get the dustpan and brush out and I can capture most of it without it all going on the floor. Oh, I put on plenty. I couldn't believe how cheap it was when I bought it. As like I say, they were trying to get rid of it. So it was 4p for 100 grams. I paid 78p, so I must have had nearly two kilos. All right, that's gonna do that. I need to take the tape off. There's my square of non-slip. Also take the tape off the top one here. I'm not so worried about the gravel here, it's probably going there in the canal anyway. And just brush it off in a second. So there we go, tape's off. Right, now I'm just gonna seed it in. I'm going to use the brush for this. Let's grab the insides first. Oh, paper. Just going to tap it in because I want to make sure the paint that goes in between all the pieces of gravel. off a few bits of grit which I picked up into the paintbrush here. You can see what I'm doing. Now I can we'll continue with the rest of the pad and I'll show you the end result. Well as you can see that is all black now. I will go over it one more time. I shall wait for it now to dry and I will do when I paint the rest of the seats here I will go over it again with small paints. Um, if I was you, if you're doing this, use a brush that you don't like. <laughs> um, I bought some cheapy ones specifically for doing this because you can see all the grit in there possibly. I'm going to throw it away after I finish doing this. I specifically bought some cheap paint brushes because I knew this would ruin them. Well there's both of them now painted black. No, I know I'm going to get told by about a thousand different people out there, I don't know what I'm doing, I did it all wrong. Guess what? I did it my way, and it works for me. You know, remember, I'm working on a very tight budget. And I really want to thank everybody that has donated to the channel recently, because I've been saving up to actually do jobs like this. So all the money from Patreon, and PayPal, and from super thanks has all gone to buying this paint so i thank you all out there very very much for allowing me to get on and tidy up my boat because this is where the money is getting spent yes it's not going to be the best job in the world i know that as i say i'm doing it on a very tight budget and it works for me and that's what matters well Yes, I know it's a little bit rough and ready, but I have just finished undercoating the floor. I've done a little bit up the sides as well. Give it another hour to dry, and we shall put some black on it. 
and the grey is all dried. I've just been going around the edges now of the black and I'm ready to get the roller out. I've just brushed all that. It's time to get the roller out now. Well, job done. Well, done as I'm doing it anyway. All black. So, I know there's going to be plenty of you out there that are going to criticise everything I've done on this. There always are. I don't really care. I did it my way. And it works for me. I'm not a professional painter, but what I really wanted to do was tidy the boat up. And at the end of the day, what's the old saying? You can't make a silk purse out of a sow's ear. All I did was make it clean and tidy again. I know a lot of you are going to say, oh, you shouldn't have used hammerite paint, you should have used boat paint and all this. Well, hammerite is a pretty darn good paint and tough in the area I'm doing it. I will use boat paint for doing the rest of the boat, the sides, etc. I think that's going to work for what I did. Also, the undercoat, I used Berger paint, which was their uh, paint, which was designed. So, where was I? The battery just died in the camera. I had to go and change the battery quick. Yes, so I used Berger paint. It lasts a couple of years or so. It's better than it was before. That's all I can say. So, I'm winding this video up right now. I want to thank, of course, my Patreon. PayPal and super thanks supporters as I think I've already said in this video it was all your support that made this project possible don't forget if you're not already subscribed please do subscribe and as winter approaches I might even do a few more DIY videos when I'm not cruising as much I had to do this one of course while it was decent weather well that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching Trevor out.